In Deuteronomy chapter 4, Moses once again cautions and warns the children of Israel to hear and obey the Lord. He wants them to listen to God's word, but also to do God's word. And he says, this is how you'll possess the land. This is how you'll thrive in the land. And this is also how the enemies that are in the land will see you and understand that you're wise and strong in their eyes. See, God's word would strengthen them and God's word would also give them insight and wisdom. Listen to a verse, I wanna read it to you from chapter four of Deuteronomy. It's actually Deuteronomy chapter four, verse 39. So remember this, he says in verse 39, and keep it firmly in mind. The Lord God is both in heaven and on earth, and there's no other. If you obey all the decrees and commands I'm giving you today, it will be well with you and your children, and I'm giving you these instructions so you'll enjoy a long life in the land of the Lord your God that he's giving to you. So he tells them to, to hear his word, obey his word, and then also to share the word with their children and their grandchildren. And he says, by doing this, other nations will see you as strong and other nations will see you as wise. I thought about this and I thought, how far our culture has drifted from God's word, from hearing it, from obeying it, from teaching it to our children as we've kind of pulled it out of the public school arena, as we pulled it out of government. And I think this is probably the reason right now in our world, in our time, we don't look wise and we don't look strong in other nations' eyes. We have, well, we've disregarded the word of the Lord as Moses shared with the people of that day. If you wanna be wise and if you wanna be strong in the eyes of your enemies or of the world, then obey God's word and not only obey it, hear it and listen to it, but share it with your children that the next generation would have a foundation, a place to grow and gain wisdom and strength. So Moses gives some great, well, instructions for the people of Israel and for you and I and for a nation that wants to be strong and wise.